under our API gateway, you can see it all starts with discovery. So you can see all these API endpoints that have been discovered via machine learning. And I could also configure it to use session identifier for learning to enable additional capabilities such as rate limiting and sequences. Now I can save these endpoints to the endpoint management tab and we start collecting additional information on them. I can also from here add additional endpoints that have been learned automatically or I can manually add them as well. If I go back out here, you can see I can also export an open API schema. So as these API endpoints are being added, I can export an updated open API schema. Not only do we allow you the ability to export it, but we're also building and learning the schema and all the parameters along the way as well. Going back to my endpoint management here, you can see there's a lot of data that we're collecting. So I'm going to expand one of these. You can see all of this information we're running, all the requests going to this endpoint, the average error rate, the average latency, and also the response size. If I scroll up here, you can see since we keep a baseline of the traffic, we can also detect anomalies. So here you can see there's been a significant increase in error rate, so we're alerting the customer of that. Also, since we're seeing all the requests coming to this endpoint, we can provide a recommended rate limiting rule to prevent volumetric abuse. So you can see here, we're provided a recommendation. Customer can click their create rule link and will automatically populate all of the data. They can come here and review it and modify it if desired, take the appropriate action and deploy it. So you can see the integration with our WAF here to prevent volumetric abuse. And now I'm gonna go back to my API gateway here. And we also provide some additional visibility so here on this API endpoint, you can see sensitive data detection, where we're detecting sensitive data that's being exposed. Customer can click explore events and jump right to the logs. We also provide additional visibility via sequence analysis. So in a lot of cases, certain API endpoints are usually called in sequence. And this provides visibility to that. The correlation score signifying the likeliness of those endpoints being called together. So we can see here, in this case, the sequence has two API endpoints and the correlation score is low. It can be low or it can be high. In this case, we can see users are looking at the new releases first, and then they're selecting a specific album to look at in more detail. And in the future, we're looking at creating policies around this, providing customers the ability to create policies around correlation scores and these sequences. In addition to all this visibility, we can also enforce a positive security model with schema validation. Here I've already uploaded an open API schema. I can already see all the non-compliant requests here and filter into it. If I click edit here, you can see I've applied it to this host. And if I click next, you can see all the respective endpoints, methods, and parameters. And you can see that I've enforced the endpoint action for non-compliant requests and also a fall-through action for all requests that don't match any of the endpoints. Now, in addition to schema validation, I can also enforce positive security model with MTLS. So if I head over to the settings here, I'm gonna go and to my client certificates. You can see I've already created a client certificate here and I can create an MTLS rule for this host. And if I click the use firewall rule builder here, you can see it populates everything, basically stating requests to this host that don't have the client certificate will be blocked. 